Hello class and welcome to your assignment, your team assignment for the project selection. So what I want you to do, the first thing is to go ahead and download what I'll call course information, the project proposal input from the PMO. Now the PMO, remember, once again is providing you specific information. I'm going to go ahead and pull that document up. You're going to see that we give you proposal input in the beginning of week one or module one. And what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you go through this, you glean this. We've given you kind of a, a rough structure for how the team is gonna be structured. Five to six people working for Dr. Dale Deerdorf. I am the PMO contact for you. We lay out the kind of the, the expectations that you'll be getting from us. Now, this also gives you the list of a project budget. We start you with a project budget of $250,000. So your team will have $250,000 to start with, broken down into these buckets. So you will have $12,000 to start the project. You've got a feasibility study that's due to me for $50,000. You've got requirements analysis you can do for $12,000. You've got requirement specifications, $18,000. You can procure materials for $22,000. You have to assemble. Um, for 46,000, test for 58,000, you have to do some level of demonstration or ATP to be able to accept the project. Um, that's 10,000. And then in addition to that, you've got a project reserve. So we're giving you what we call a project reserve of $8,000. Now, percentage-wise, we feel that that should cover what you're going to encompass in this project you're going to work on. We've given you, realistically, a template to start with. So there's a project template, a Microsoft PowerPoint template that's already laid out for you that lays out a basic WBS structure in addition to the money associated with it or the budget and those, those information uh, type of text boxes for you. So we've given you that separation. We've given you assumptions for how much we think it would cost per person, whether it's an engineer, a tech writer, a contract consultant. We've given you all of this so that when you go to resource load your information and to look at your budgets, you've got the opportunity to understand that. And that once again, that nasty old mega driver, you have a mega driver on this project and it has certain characteristics to it. So in addition to the information we give you up front, we give you lead time, we give you failure rate of about 30% of the time, we give you extra mega driver information if you want to pick up extra parts. We also give you the location for where that the mega driver is tested. We also finally give you the understanding that it is referred to as a high qual a high risk item. We give you information also on what I expect from a project quality perspective. You're going to use this information that I'm providing you right now to establish what we refer to as a baseline. You're going to put a baseline schedule, a baseline format into Microsoft Project, and you're going to use this information that we've given you here to kind of lay the stage in your project proposal template that you're going to be providing me. Okay, so let's Let's just take a peek at what that would look like. Um, the next document I want you to pull up is going to be that list of potential energy sources from waste products. So remember you were using one of these projects. One of these is going to be used for your project. You were supposed to have picked at a team level using consensus one of these. I need to make sure that your team has identified one of these you want to use. And then finally what you need to do the link here for the project proposal template, I need you to go in and pull the project proposal template down. This is what that template's going to look like. You need to have the team leader fill this out. The team leader should delegate areas out to other people to help that team leader. You don't want to make, you want to make sure that it's a balanced effort for everybody working on, uh, I'll call it the project. So, there's an assignment start date. Give me the date that you think this is going to start. Your project's going to start on a certain day and end on another day. You're, you'll remember in the lecture, uh, the lesson plan, and in the readings, one of the unique characteristics about a project, what makes a project a project, is it has a unique start date and end date. And you have to have a proposed start date and end date, or else I can't approve your project proposal. You also need to give me a cost bogey. How much you think it's going to cost? 
we've laid out for you an expectation of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars you need to tell me is that real or do you think you need more money or less money um, the odds of you telling me you need less money are usually very very slim um, but you know that opportunity is available to you there so you need to fill out this bare bones information on the team including who the team members names are then the next piece is going to be once you've made that selection on the type of energy project that you want to work on which of these project types do you feel it falls into you need to characterize your project with one of these and then I need you to take that project proposal that we submitted you and describe the problem that you're solving with the project you're going to be converting energy from a waste product using and then your selection is part of that problem definition but in addition to that there's more detail you need to create a goal definition what are the goals of your project and there probably will be multiple goals as you're going along because as you remember we gave you a variety of different things that needed to be accomplished whether those were analysis studies that need to be completed or testing or delivery ATP things like that so what are the goals that address your mission goals that address what we refer to as self-sustainment will this project you know expect to give you what you're trying to get finally the next piece is going to be the project objective definitions from a performance standpoint how do you measure performance what from your perspective measures performance by seeing completion of what what would that look like you have to articulate that and what will this project su successfully be able to be to complete so that I can buy it off um, your customers or your stakeholders are going to come in and they're going to say yes I agree that this is what the end item looks like you have to give me what you think that is total we, we need you to lay out what we think the total cost of the project is and potentially a benefit that you could achieve so if you're using this to recycle there's got to be some sort of positive benefit associated with it you have to come up with a wag or some sort of predetermination as to what your target is how much money do you think you can make or how much you know green energy can you create and then a schedule make sure you understand that a project has a schedule a start date and a finish date that have to be in place as a target before I can give you the thumbs up and say to go forward with this project so this is the project template I want to make sure that you get the project template completed that's the document that you're going to be submitting to me in the gradebook so make sure you get that presented to me in the gradebook that's going to be completed by the team leader to submit but he should be delegating pieces of this out for other people to fill in other people should be helping that team leader with this information this particular piece or this project piece is worth 45 points I've got a rubric in here for you the grading criteria tells you that the general information is worth five points that project type that selection of the project is worth five points that project definition is worth 10 points the goals definition and goals and milestones could be merged together so remember if you've got something you refer to as a milestone it is a goal potentially also and then you've got the project objective definitions for performance how do we measure performance how do we measure cost how do we measure schedule remember that I must have must have a cost bogey from you um, we've given you an estimate but you tell me how much money you want to run this project and how much schedule do you think it's going to take lay out for yourself a schedule if it's 30 days 60 days 90 days whether it's six months a year that's your determination to lay that out okay have a great week once again this is going to be the information necessary for your project selection once you're done with this you're going to find that week one is going to roll into week two very easily but without this information you're going to struggle so the sooner you can get this completed the easier it is for your team to move forward in a positive direction so have a great week welcome to working for ECS welcome to week one or module one and let's move forward and have some fun on your energy creation projects have a great one bye bye